It's been eight years since Keanu Reeves' John Wick went on a revenge rampage after a bunch of baddies broke into his house and killed his puppy and his taste for revenge has not changed much. We still miss that puppy, though. Since the first film, Chad Stahelski's John Wick has quickly become a cult classic, and it began something of a modern Keanuscence that continued with John Wick, Chapter 2 and John Wick, Chapter 3 Parabellum. And come March 24, 2023 we will be treated to John Wick, Chapter 4, which will be helmed again by Stahelski, directing from a script written by Shea Hatton. John Wick Chapter 3, Army of the Dead and Michael Finch. Predators, Hitman, Agent 47. On top of that, there has been a slow boil of news coming out regarding the plot, and we were given more details about the movie in the theatrical trailer. Here's a breakdown of what our favorite and seemingly invincible assassin has been up to and everything we know about John Wick, Chapter 4. The official synopsis of John Wick, Chapter 4 reads, John Wick uncovers a path to defeating the high table. But before he can earn his freedom, Wick must face off against a new enemy with powerful alliances across the globe and forces that turn old friends into foes. Of course, we can expect lots of action scenes and gunfu fight choreography with Stahelski's signature written all over it. As seen in the trailer. Set to a cool, echoey remix of Terry Jack Seasons in the Sun, we are definitely going to dive deeper into the mythology of the Wikiverse and learn new things about John. In an interview with Empire, the director gave us an idea of what to expect in the sequel, saying, if you took the good, the bad and the ugly, crossed it with Satoichi, and threw in a Greek myth, you'd probably get something close to this. Keanu Reeves is back and badder than ever as the titular deadly assassin with effortless hair. The last time we saw him was in Parabellum when he was being double-crossed by Winston, Ian McShane, who shot him off a roof, but Mr. Wick survives. We see him delivered to the Bowery King, Lawrence Fishburne, with whom he agrees to team up to take down the High Table, the council of crime lords who govern the underworld's most powerful criminal organizations. In addition to McShane and Fishburne reprising their roles, Lance Reddick returns as the Continental Concierge Sharon. They will be joined by an incredible cast, including if man icon Donnie Yen, who plays Kane, one of John's old assassin buds. The trailer indicates there will be a scene where they try to kill each other, which will be a treat. Japanese legend Hiroyuki Sanada also stars as Shimazu, while Japanese-British pop star Rina Sawayama also joins the cast in her feature acting debut. Bill Skarsgård steps in as new baddie Marquis de Gramont, who offers John his freedom from the high table if he defeats him in combat. The cast also includes Scott Adkins, Clancy Brown, Shamir Anderson, and Marco Zerer, as well as George Giorgio, who replaces Saeed Tagmawi as the Elder. If you've been paying attention, you know that it's highly unlikely Chapter 4 spells a happy ending for John, who never seems to catch a break. Stahelski pretty much confirmed this in an interview with IndieWire. Saying, John may survive all this, but at the end of it, there's no happy ending. He continued, do you think he's going to ride off into the sunset? He's killed 300 people and he's just going to walk away, everything's okay? He's just going to fall in love with a love interest. If you're this guy, if this guy really existed, how is this guy's day going to end? He's for the rest of his life. It's just a matter of time. On the bright side, this means we'll get to spend more time with John, Chapter 4 is set to have the longest runtime of any of the installments thus far, landing in the 150 minute range. Just when you thought that there weren't enough assassins in the Wikiverse, it was announced that Lionsgate is working on a John Wick spin-off movie called Ballerina starring Ana de Armas and directed by Len Wiseman, Live Free or Die Hard, the Underworld franchise. Co-written by Wiseman and Shay Hatton, the movie follows a killer assassin, de Armas, who vows revenge when her family is killed by hitmen sounds awfully familiar, but we're here for it. THR recently announced that Angelica Houston will be reprising her role as the head of the Ruska Roma crime organization known as The Director. Originally introduced in John Wick, Chapter 3. The spin-off will also welcome McShane, who will appear as Winston, and Reeves is currently in talks to appear as John Wick. In addition to Ballerina, which doesn't yet have a release date, it was announced that there will be a prequel TV series titled The Continental, 
expected to be released on Peacock in 2023. As the title suggests, the series will explore the origin story of the Continental Hotel, which is essentially an entire separate character in the franchise. The Continental will follow young manager Winston Scott, Colin Waddell, in 1975 New York as he faces a past he left behind. In an attempt to seize control of the iconic hotel, which serves as a meeting point for the world's most dangerous criminals, Winston charts a deadly course through the mysterious underworld of New York City. The series, which initially was set for stars before moving to Peacock, will also feature a young Sharon played by Iamide Adegun and will star Peter Green, Ben Robson, Hubert Point du Jour, Jessica Elaine, Ms. Hell Prada, and Kate and Hung. Sadly, it seems like the series will not feature a young John Wick, at least, not that we know of. You can read more details about the Continental here. Last we heard, yes. It was announced in August 2020 that John Wick, Chapter 4 and Chapter 5 were set to film back to back. We were also supposed to get Chapter 4 earlier this year. Initially, the sequel was set to hit theaters on Memorial Day weekend, but it seems like a combination of scheduling and COVID surges prevented all of this from happening. As a result, the sequels ended up not filming back to back, and Lionsgate decided to only move forward with John Wick, Chapter 4. There haven't been any updates as to whether or not there will be a John Wick, Chapter 5, but we're betting on yes.